electricity. No house is complete without it. And yet, sometimes it's so hard to get. Now in our case, it should have been very simple. Because there was a transport line right in front of the property. All we needed to do was get one of these, the transformer, on a pole, a few wires, and we'd be set up for life. Unfortunately, the power company had a very different idea about that. I just received a quote from the power company and it left me a little bit puzzled and confused. You see, we need to buy a transformer, which costs approximately 19,617 baht. Then we need three poles, which come down at 6,370 baht and 20 stang. Some wire for 10,746 baht, and last but not least, 5,000 baht in labor fees. The total of this is 41,733 baht, quite reasonable. The amount we have to pay is 280,000 baht. And after installation, all equipment becomes property of the power company. What? So we decided it was time for something completely different. Solar power. We placed 15 solar panels of 380 watts on top of our roof. Together that makes 5700 watts under perfect conditions. Instead of using the purposely made and thus very expensive aluminium clamps and beams, we simply used galvanized steel and bolts to hold the panels down onto the roof. We also made a steel walkway on the roof for maintenance and cleaning of the panels. You can only measure the capacity on a clouded day, as the series of panels puts out some 500 volts. All this power is controlled by a 5.5 kW inverter charger. Since we also want to use electricity at night, we store excess power collected during the day in a battery. And again, we don't just buy something, we design and build our own. The separate cells come from CALB, one of the largest lithium battery manufacturers in the world. Solid copper bars that are carefully cleaned with alcohol connect all the cells together. This is a time-consuming job that does not allow for any mistakes. A BMS, or Battery Management System, controls and manages every single cell and the total of cells together. The completed battery has a capacity of 15 kilowatt hours. To better understand how much power that is, this equals 50 average car batteries. And with that, our solar system is ready. Of course, we're not there yet. Now we have to connect everything.
We use reusable wire clips to connect everything, which makes it a nice and easy job. One down, 50 to go. If you are wondering why there is only two wires going to a three-way switch, that is because these are radio controlled switches. The actual switch is in the attic. Not only does this save a lot of wires, it also creates the possibility to make very complicated switching patterns. Every room has its own ventilation controller. And then we have light. So how does a solar system work exactly? It all starts by putting some solar panels on the top of your roof and connect them to an inverter. When the sun begins to shine, the solar panel sends a lot of electricity to the inverter, which changes that to a usable amount of electricity for the house. Since you also want to have electricity at night or other moments when the sun doesn't shine, we connect a battery to the whole system that collects electricity during the day and gives it back at night. And that is all there is to it. No more blackouts and no more electricity bills.